for a long time, uh, B-26 pilots didn't think that they could fly on one engine. And then uh, I think it was Jimmy Doolittle came down to, uh, to St. Petersburg, I mean, yeah, uh, St. Petersburg, Tampa area, and he rung one out. He feathered one in, stopped the engine, feathered it, and did uh, rolls, I understand. He was doing doing rolls with it, and when he came back in, the guy said, well, boy, you know, if he can do that, uh, we ought to be able to at least fly it with two engines, so they wasn't it went too bad after that. Really, uh, you know, the big problem with the, with the 26 is when it was first designed, it had a guard, beautiful design, proper wing loading, and then the government comes along and they decide there was a bunch of stuff they wanted to put in it, but it added weight. When you add weight, the wing loading goes up, okay? And when you do that, uh, then the plane finds it harder to fly because it's got to lift, do this lift. So then they come along and they improved it uh, by adding, I think, five feet of, of wing length and they increase the angle of attack by a couple of three degrees, and then they add some more weight, you know? So it was de de defeating the, the purpose to the uh, adding the thing. But it was the, the, the later planes, the one we flew in combat, uh, were not that bad. Uh, the biggest problem was if you had an engine fail on takeoff, you were, you were gone, that was it. I mean, it's uh, one thing to be up in the air and have the uh, engine go out, but it's something else if on takeoff. I mean, that was, that was curtains. They had a early morning, early morning takeoff, and uh, they, uh, they, they, down there, they took off six abreast. We took off three abreast on the runway. Our runway wasn't as wide as theirs. And they were taking off, and as I understand, I've read about it. I wasn't there, but I've read about it, and uh, I think two of them went down at once, and then the, another one followed up that and went down. Uh, I think that if I was on the group behind that, I'd have been pretty scared, <laughs> pretty leery about making it, uh, going ahead and throwing the throttle forward, but uh, I think there were three. I think there were three of them all get in on takeoff. And it's, uh, and we had some in our squad. As a matter of fact, on one of them, I was the, uh, I, I was assigned to go out there and pick up uh, some of the remains and uh, of the crew. Can't remember all the names. Uh, there was one, well, we were in, in uh, Corsica. No, it was in Sardinia. Um, he had just come into the squadron, a guy named Plez Davis. Um, he, was, but he was making claims that he was married to a starlet out in Hollywood, big deal. So, but he was very so he was real popular with the guys. They thought he was something else because he was a woman in Hollywood. But I think on his third mission, they, he was shot down, and I, we were told that there was everyone was lost on that plane. Um, and then later on, I was summer court officer for um, or, what is that? The one for for going through their property and packaging it to send home to the home. F uh, personal effects officer, personal effects, and. Uh, I, I did that on, on uh, two occasions. Not that I particularly knew the, the, the people on that crew, but they were in members of my squadron and you know I'd seen them around.